Hello and welcome to the Ski Club Snowcast. We're here in Teen for the 2014 edition of the Brits. After an incredible season for British freestyle skiing and snowboarding that saw our top athletes competing on the world stage at the Sochi Olympics, a week-long blend of competition, music and of course apres is where it all started at a young age for many of our most successful athletes. This is where you'll see some of the up-and-coming talents that will shape the future of Team GB. The competition is open for anyone wanting to get noticed and to be measured against the standards of British freestyle. Now, we've been talking to some of the people involved here about why the Brits is important and the current standard of British freestyle. We've been working on the Brits now since 2002. We were involved before as competitors, Stuart and myself, back as far as 96, uh, but took the reins in 2002, so that's 12 years now. And um, yeah, there have been some dramatic changes. Uh, back then, it was a group of seasonaires, really. There were some jobbing pros, if you like. There were only a handful of people that were getting paid sponsorship wise and then now you well you look at the pre the, just the past olympics and you see it's it's a very professional outfit and we're catering for all those people but we're still catering for it's an open competition so we're still catering for those that just want to give it a go seasonaires want to battle their friends etc so i think it's a really special scene the british scene and apparently uh, according to ed lee from ski sundays we're the envy of, of many nations because it is so inclusive it's four years now that I've been involved in the Brits and it's been an absolutely vital part of the development pathway for our freestyle snowboard and uh, free ski riders. Um, it gives the younger athletes the opportunity to really showcase what they can achieve. It helps us to select the athletes that we're going to be uh, investing time and effort in going forward um, and it's been invaluable in allowing us to see a collection of the younger generation all competing at the same time. I think they're really important because uh, we've got so many um, indoor slopes in the UK uh, which are great for getting involved and then it's great to have a competition like the British Championships where everyone can aim towards and uh, get some good results. Yeah, it was, um, it was an amazing experience um, to go to the Olympics because um, it's been my goal since I started skiing and um, it was actually the first time that the freestyle events, half pipe and slope style, uh, have been included so that made it extra special. Uh, being one of the first people to go. It's just great like, to come here as well and, and uh, see the next generation of, of kids coming through and help them out and, and, um, and show them that you can get to, the, uh, get to the top. It was an absolutely fantastic uh, two weeks for British athletes in, in Sochi. Um, it, clearly Jenny Jones winning a medal was superb. But all of, our, all of the athletes that were selected by the British Olympic Association to compete in um, Sochi um, performed outstandingly. And I, I was so proud just to be associated with seeing those performances. Uh, I won't lie to you, I cried when Jenny Jones took a medal in Sochi. Um, Bristol lass, so close to, close to my heart, and known Jenny for, for many years. And I think if you ask anybody in the industry, there's no one more deserved than Jen to have won a medal, so it's fantastic all round. But then oh, how, seven top 10 results, I, I think it was. So I think that certainly exceeded most people's expectations. I, I knew they were capable of doing it, um, but it was, yeah, it was an absolute joy to see that come to fruition. Time to find out now how the snow is looking elsewhere in the Alps and across the Atlantic in our weekly roundup of the snow conditions. It's been a hot and sunny week in the Alps with high temperatures and sunny skies in most places. Austrian resorts have been enjoying the spring conditions. Places such as Obergurgel and St Anton have excellent spring snow. Leader Kim Moss sent us these pictures from Ischgl. It's very similar across in Switzerland and Italy, where the key to finding the good snow is to stick to the higher slopes. Zermatt and San Moritz both have great spring conditions on the mountains. In France, it was a little cloudy on Wednesday morning before brightening up in the afternoon. Excellent spring snow can be found at most places. The forecast is for the warm weather to continue through the weekend and into next week. Conditions are still very wintry in America and Canada, with lots of fresh snow to report. Mammoth in California received 60 centimetres of fresh snow on the 1st of April, further improving their base depths. Leader Ryan Davison Chris sent these pictures from a very snowy Whistler, whilst fresh snow at Fernie and Banff mean their base depths are now the deepest they've been all season. Now, moving away from team, this week has seen one of our two Ski Club Jewel Slaloms taking place in the plan for the very first time. Here's some of the action from race day. So we're going to kick off at about two o'clock, so at the end of the briefing... The uh, Ski Club runs these events just to raise our brand awareness and profile in the resorts, especially amongst the seasonaires. 
Um, it's a really, really fun, relaxed event that's open to anyone, members, non-members, and just people on their holidays. And it's just something different to offer to their holiday experience. Well, because of its successful Formula in Teen, we decided that the plan, being a really popular destination amongst British skiers and members, would be the natural fit for it. So we've been working closely with Oxford Ski School and the STAD to provide a really fun, relaxed event. This event really would not be possible without the really generous donations from our partners, including Monarch Airlines, the headline sponsor. Also Dare to Be, who provided every single participant with a free t-shirt. Oh, look at that show, yeah. They are the winners of the Ski Club Great Britain to Slalom. Oh, look at that finish, eh? That's all we've got time for in this snowcast. Keep an eye on Ski Club TV for full highlights of the Brits. And next week, we'll be back here for the Teen Jewel Slalom. So make sure you tune in. Bye.